Hello. Thanks for joining us today here at Cedar Creek Homestead. This is Howie. I want to welcome you tonight to a little bit of comedy and uh, Monday Night Fun with uh, Howie and Earl. So um, uh, I hope you enjoy it today. If you've not subscribed, give us a su subscribe to us. Give us a thumbs up and, and give us a comment. We sure would appreciate it. Some of you have been asking for some more Earl. So uh, Earl... Are you ready today? Thank you, brother, for letting me be on your program today. I sure do appreciate it. It's good being with all of you folks uh, today here at Cedar Creek Homestead. And today's subject I wanted to talk to you about a little bit was about being forgetful. You know, if you're going to homestead, you need to make sure that you're not forgetful. If you forget to gather the eggs, or you forget to let the chickens out, or you forget to lock the chickens up, or something like that, or you forget your wife's birthday, <laughs> that could get you in a lot of trouble, that's for sure. And so um, today I want to talk to you a little bit about getting forgetful. Now, I haven't ever had much of a forgetfulness problem like some folks do, but I remember my grandparents, they were had some friends over, and they were uh, playing uh, dominoes. And uh, anyway, Grandma says, my husband here, well, uh, Mr. Ferguson, he's getting kind of forgetful. And, uh, well, one of the people said, that's nothing, said, I'm getting so forgetful. I go up the stairs, and I don't know if I just went up or just came down. The other one said, Oh, that's nothing. Said, I go and uh, uh, go to the refrigerator and open the door, and I don't remember if I just put something in or just took something out. Well, my old grandma, she says, Well, folks, I'm glad I've been blessed with a good memory, and I don't have that problem, knock on wood. She looks around, she says, would someone go answer the door? <laughs> well, my wife, she got to thinking, Josie, she started thinking that I was getting kind of forgetful. So she goes to her doctor for her annual checkup, and she says, Doctor, said, I've been worried about uh, old Earl. He uh, um, getting so forgetful on me. And said, uh, i just wondering what to do. And he says, well... He said, as you get a little older, you get a little more forgetful. But he said, here's a little tip that I tell folks to do. Is get him a little notepad and have him carry it in his overall pocket. And give him an ink pen. And whenever he's going to go do something important, have him write it down. And then he won't forget it. She said, that's a good idea. So she come home had been to Walmart and bought a six-pack of little note tablets. And she gave me one and even wrote my name on it and said, Honey, here's your little ink pen and a note tablet, and you keep it here in your front pocket of your overhauls. And then whenever you uh, need to do something important, like I send you to the store for some milk or bread, <coughs> then you can remember and you won't bring back the wrong thing. I said, okay, honey, I'll do that. Well, that night, we were sitting there watching a little television. And, uh, oh, Andy Griffith show. And my wife, uh, I told her, I said, honey, I think I want to have me some ice cream. Would you like some ice cream, too? She said, oh, would I? She said, I'd like to have one of them there, a hot fudge Sunday." And she said, I would like some whipped cream on it and some nuts on it and I would like a little cherry on the top of it. I said, okay, I'll fix that right up. She said, don't you need to write it on your little notepad? I said, honey, I don't need to write something that simple down. I remember you want a hot fudge sundae with uh, some whipped cream on it and some nuts, and one of them little old cherries like they do down there at the Sonic uh, store. So she says, okay. 
Well, I go in there and I fix me a hot fudge sundae. And I fix her a hot fudge sundae. I put the nuts on it and the whipped cream and a little bit of cherry just like she wanted. And I bring it in there to her. And she's sitting in the recliner watching Andy Griffith show, taking it easy. And I hand her her hot fudge sundae. And she looks at me and she says, Honey... You're getting so forgetful. Where's my bacon and eggs? Bless her heart. Well, listen. If you ain't into homesteading, give it a try, cause it's good for you.